come and vibe with me Ladies and gentlemen I need about four minutes out of your life right now I just saw in the film that how the Bami's army brutally cracked down the demonstrator led by the monks and shoot them in the streets. This is what exactly happened every day to the people from the ethnic areas, especially in the eastern part of Burma. And all the people from the eastern part of Burma, including elders, children, and women, had to run for their lives from the guns and the military regime. Can you believe that there are at least half a million of people in the uh, ethnic areas become eternally displaced people in their own country. And more than 100,000 uh, people fled the country. And our, the region continuously attacking the ethnic minority more than 60 years. And within the last 13 years, they destroyed and burned down more than 3,300 villages just alone in the eastern part of Burma. And just recently, the military region attacked to three ethnic areas within a few months and then forcibly displayed over 50,000 uh, civilians and seek refuge in the neighboring countries such as China and Thailand. And rape has been and used to be right, uh, continued to be widely used as a weapon of war against the ethnic minority people. And the schoolgirls are being raped, gang raped, and mutilated and killed by their soldier. And they rape as young as four years old girl. And then Burma have the highest level of forced labor in uh, the whole, uh, the whole, the whole among the whole world. And I myself was once used to be a victim of forced labor when I was only 13 years old in a hydropower construction. And there are more than 70,000 children have forced to become soldiers in my country. And there now more than 2,000 political prisoners in our country. And they can be taken away any time for their interrogation and torture. When they torture, they use many different ways. For example, using the electric shocks and many other horrific things. I'm not going to tell all the details. And just recently, last month, they detained Aung San Suu Kyi. I mean, they sentenced her, a father, 18 months to uh, house arrest for violating the terms of uh, her house arrest just because an uninvited American man swam to her house and refused to leave. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what's happening in our country every day. Oh, hey, thanks. By the way, you're a real inspiration. So you're a fantastic uh, spokesperson for, uh, for what's going on. Have you personally felt, as you're in the UK, that your safety has ever been in danger? My safety living in this UK, I have a f two feelings. I know I'm scared. A fear in our insides was already since we were born. And still it's difficult to um, forget everything. At the same time, I feel that if we don't do, then I don't want my next generation will suffer. Because I want to give you an example. My father, I remember when I was 11, 11 years old, a group of military soldiers came to our place, our house. And they accused my mom and dad that we have, they have a link with the Gachin, which is our nationalities, Gachin's armed resistance group. Because our, uh, because of, because, just because of we are ethnic city. And then they interrogated and asked a lot of questions. And four of us, brothers, our brothers and sisters, were just there. And finally, they started to beat my father and other two guests who stay at that time with us. Finally, they forced us to get out of the house and forced us to lie down on the, uh, in front of our house. Later after, they, 
they brought my mom and dad in the middle. They forced them to stand in the middle of the ray truck. And I, I was so shocked and so scared that if they shoot my mom and dad, what will happen? And if the trains come at this time, what will happen? But I am too scared to cry. I was too scared to cry. So that was how the fear is already in our inside since we were young. And my father always wants to have freedom and he wants to see freedom and peace. And when we took part in 1988 uprising, everybody thought like this, we want democracy, democracy. And then we, I also follow them. Yes, we want democracy, democracy. When I came back home, I asked mom and dad, mom and dad, what is the meaning of democracy? They just simple, simply explained me, freedom. And I didn't know very well about what was the meaning of, why, why we need freedom. My father last year died without seeing freedom, without seeing the true meaning of democracy. So I would say that, yes, I am scared. The monks in the story, in the film, and they played a huge part in what was going on. Um, what's the current status today? Are there any monks? So there are more than 273 monks were arrested after this uprising and some were disappeared. And as you have seen in the film that a lot of the sacred uh, monasteries have been looted and just totally destroyed. Some because they are so scared to continue to live in that monastery and that area, so they have to hide in the jungle or they have to go back to the small villages or their own villages. Um, otherwise, they could end up in the prison. And one of the leaders, monks called uh, Gambira, who was arrested. Actually, in the beginning, he was hiding, and but later after he got arrested and he was sentenced to up to 65 years of imprisonment. So I would say that still nobody uh, can uh, track down um, details how many people will still disappear. But they can have at least more than 2,000 political prisoners, including monks and nuns, the students, and elite people were are in prison.